All right, we've got your Monday treats. Of course, it was a big divisional game here against the Lions. And Justin Fields, of course, was back with the Bears. His hand was wrapped, but he was out there slinging it. Former Bears head coach Dave Watson joins us here to break it all down. Coach, good morning. Thanks for being here. It's nice, always nice to come up here and visit with you with this crew. Let me tell you, it's a lot. <laughs> this is fun, okay? This is fun. Up you know what? It's fun for us here, especially after a loss like that. You had to come in here and break it down. What exactly went wrong? You know, Justin Fields, he put the team on his back. They were driving in the fourth quarter, had three takeaways. I mean, it seemed like this was a W, and it, you look this morning, it's an L. Well, I, I think what you just said, J.C., is what the players were thinking. Oh, this is a W. Yeah. You know, I mean, think about how the game started. They throw – their first two times they get the ball, Detroit, they throw it to us. We get interceptions. Yeah. What do we do with those interceptions? One, we end up punting the ball. Mm -hmm. The next one, we end up fumbling it back to them, and they score. Yeah. So, and then at the end of the game – uh, you know, J Justin did everything. I thought Justin came out and was it was very encouraging. You know, he made the long pass, touchdown pass to DJ Moore. He ran it you know, quite more than I liked, but he did run it and make some first downs. He, we just didn't do it enough. I yeah. mean, you know, the tougher the competition, the more plays you got to make. And then at the end of the game, your defense needs to close the oh, game yeah. out. I mean, this is life in the NFL. It's never over until it's over. I'll say this. I do like the aggressive play call there at the end. They ran it twice to run down clock. And on third down, they could have done a run. Instead, they go for the go route. Just missed his man by a couple inches. He catches that ball. It's a completely different conversation yeah, this morning. That, that, I didn't have a problem with the play. I would have liked to have thrown it to DJ Moore. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And at the end of the game, we were talking earlier, when a game's on the line, you, I always kind of like to say, hey, it's not about the play that we draw up. It's about the player that's going to get the ball. That Give it will to make your best difference. man. Give yeah. it to your best man. You know, uh, obviously, this, is a, this was a big week for Justin Fields here. Still trying to prove that he's the guy. After a loss like this, as a coach, A, do you like what you saw from Fields? And B, what do you do to get the team ready for another divisional game? this time against the Vikings on Monday night. Yeah, it, uh, well, you know, there's a lot of positive things. You watch the tape and you point it out. I, you know, I've watched Justin now for a couple of years in these yeah. press conferences. He, in a tough situation, a loss that he wanted to win very bad, yeah. you could tell in his tone that he felt like he had taken a step forward. Yeah. And now we just got to put another layer on that and we got to build on that. And defensively, you know, we got a lead. We got to be able to close out the game. So a, a lot of it is much psychological as it is physical. Mm -hmm. and I really believe that. And, uh, you know, you can't wait for somebody else to make the play, as we yeah. say. Hey, when the game's on the line, offense or defense, I got to be the guy to go do it. And, and yesterday, that didn't happen. No, it did not. The Bears defense definitely had to close out that game. And unfortunately, they did not coach. Thank you so much for joining us here in studio on this uh, great Monday. We'll see you Tuesday of next week to break down the game against the Vikings. Which